He's hi everyone. Started, so, uh, hi everyone. Uh, we're we're just waiting on Scott now. So that's what's going on. As usual, there's someone always late. It's not a D and D game. Can you guys see me? Running late. Yes. Okay. Loud and clear. So, uh, Phelan is uh, or Nikki is currently um, on a bus. On a bus. At a bus stop, actually. Oh, at a bus stop. <laughs> so, uh, until she gets home, someone else is going to be doing her roles. You are. That is very true. It could be worse. It could indeed be worse. <laughs> I could be absent completely. No, he didn't pick up. I'm going to track him one more time. Yeah, Sky Captain, I know exactly what that's like. Uh, tomorrow is going to be my sixth. Day? Did I work last Sunday? I can't remember now. No, I didn't. Uh, but yeah, I've been working six and seven days a week for the last, oh, I don't know, couple of months. Danny and I have to work tomorrow as well. Uh, yeah, he's not picking up. So, uh, oh, we're kind of being wide-eyed. He hasn't uh, said he's going to be late today, so... Uh, I don't know when he's going to eat here, so we're just going to start without him. No worries. He's uh, catatonic once again. Yep. <laughs> Just a fair warning to everyone. I'm a little bit emotional this afternoon. So, okay. that may affect my roleplay. That's okay. I mean, you're out of a bus stop as well, so I don't really expect too much from you right now. <laughs> oh, no, okay. I expect you to articulate everything with perfect <laughs> inflection, and I want gesticulations. Uh... <laughs> Uh, uh, well, you know, uh, so everyone at the bus stop can uh, stop and stare at you. And if anyone at the bus stop gives you any grief, just tell them to look at my stream and then <laughs> that'll do. I'm alone at the bus stop at the moment, but once I get to Penrith, there'll be more people around. That's uh, fine. Right. You can, you can no. just be the crazy person walking around talking to yourself. It's okay. I Yeah, I have two buses to catch, so that's Alright, so we, uh, we'll just um, quickly run down what happened last time. It's just... Um, you guys uh, work up. Uh, um, everyone feels more powerful uh, this morning, and after you guys uh, met up in uh, the tavern, you had a brief uh, discussion with Silda about uh, catching the guy alive. Um, oh, plus that's one. Um, and uh, discussing how yes. weak he actually was, and how he's actually Stardust now. <laughs> um, uh, then you. Um, it was mentioned that you guys uh, need to find Cragmore Castle. No, I was And to find uh, Guntram. Yeah. Now we know where he is, thanks. Mm hmm. Alright, um, after hearing, um, I was, uh, uh, damn it, what was that place called again? I just said it. <laughs> Cragmore <laughs> Castle? Yeah, Cragmore. Uh, yeah, Cragmore uh, Castle. Um, uh, Droop speaks up and uh, he, he says, hey, you, you, "You're looking for uh, uh, Cragmore uh, Castle?" Uh, uh, Droop knows uh, general direction. Droop just came more, became more useful. Uh, are we all together, or? Yes, you are. That's right. We're at um, we're at the. Uh, feeling and uh... yeah, you're at the Stone Hill Inn currently, and you guys just uh, working up. You've uh, had a small discussion. Um... Uh, and while they were <laughs> while we were uh, doing that, yep. Didn't Troy and Bear and I go off to the castle? yeah? I think that's where we finished it off. Uh, I think um, Feeling and I went off and spoke with uh, Myrna. And um, handed her the um, her husband's yeah. necklace. Yes. Uh, uh, do you guys head back to the Stone Hill? Um, uh, I oh, think... no, um, Ram uh, messaged you about it. So, did you guys decide to go or not? Uh, no, that was the night before. Um, we slept the night. We got up the next morning, and we did the thing uh, really early. So this is why the the recap uh, is really helps. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So now we're having this. <laughs> yeah. 
It's all good. So yeah, so um, the message and everything else that was the night before. Yeah. We we did the thing early in the morning um, before Droop woke up. Um, kind of like went off real early and did that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember the whole uh, discussion. And the, I uh... think from memory we discussed that we're all going to meet up in the town centre. I think that's yeah, what, that's right. What we were going to do. But um, throwing there and I need to go get Droop first. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure uh, you guys were in the tavern when we ended last. Mm, yeah, the, uh, the uh, other guys just... were and they got drunk. We yeah, haven't had any that, that was yet. Yeah, we that was all the night before. Drunk. We this we we finished it off uh, just leaving the... Um... You know, I, I'm just going to say you guys uh, ended up going to the tavern, so if you want to do something, we'll do, uh, we'll do that later. Because Troop is uh, in, in a second. Um... Actually, would you, you guys, I doubt you guys would go bring the goblin into the, the tavern, right? No, that, uh, that was... Meet in the centre. Yeah, that was right, another so... reason why we were all going to meet in the centre. Uh, yeah, okay. Stumble out. doesn't say that, so... Apparently you guys decided to meet, meet up in the centre. Ram is kind of uh, tonic, so it will be really helpful if he could message you guys, but... You um, know how... I'll just drag him along. Like usual. <laughs> yeah, we'll meet in the town centre. Um, did I have a hangover? Uh, you guys have a bit of hangover, that's why you guys got a uh, level exhaustion. Yeah. Um, Rem uh, was surprisingly really well, uh, doing really well with his uh, alcohol. That's uh, being that was young. <laughs> being immune to hangovers because he's so young. <laughs> But in the end, Thugash, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, sure if I look at the rolls, you can, um... Uh... I'm hungover as well. Yeah. I, I, I put them all to shame with the drinking, so that's cool. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just gonna quickly see the chat roll, because... earlier. Okay. And uh, you guys end up meeting in the square. You told, I'm guessing you told Droop to wait at the camp. Yeah. Uh, there's no guarantee no one will see him, though. No. If there's less chance of someone seeing him there, then... Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, you guys all meet up in the square. You don't really need a movie ticket, so just say that. Don't be too big. I walk, walk out, stretch my arms, and see throwing bear and feeling. Walk over to him. Uh, morning, guys. Uh. Good morning. So you're stretching your arms with a uh, ram in your hands? Or... Yeah, he's like totally pr like benching him. Yeah. <laughs> While he's walking out. <laughs> One of the exercises, you know. <sighs> Just give me a flat strength check and see how. <laughs> <laughs> you lose grip and he falls on your head. Uh, essentially, <laughs> you may have hurt him. Oh yeah! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Work roll of the night, baby. You you oh, totally yeah, throw him in the you, air you, like you're a. You're stretching him. You're you're, you're stretching Rem as well. Muscle uh, as well. <laughs> you cheerleader throw him in the air. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you can hear all the cracks and everything, and you you're feeling all nice and limber after doing that. Oh yeah. But you still got that headache, but from uh. You, you may have uh, drank a, a little too much, even though it, it took a while for it to affect you. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> um, to be sure. Yeah, I like to get with them as well, so. I so you all meet up in the, uh, yeah, you all meet up in the town square. Hey, guys. Mm. What's up with you? Mm, too much alcohol. I think huh. someone needs a bar. <laughs> oh yes. <clears throat> oh, what, what's the plan? What's the plan? Well, we need to find Rock Seeker. I think it might be a good idea if we try and get some information out of the Red Brand, uh, and might be able to get Droop to help us with that information. I'm that you don't know that Droop yeah. has that information or not. No, that's what I said. But he was with the Red, Red Brands, yeah. so he might know something. He might know something. Uh, so are we gonna 
bring the red brand out. Oh, we going to him. I say we go to him. He was uh, dropped at the town master's hall. Maybe you guys should sober up a little bit before we go. I'm sober, I'm sober. Just head hurts. It's cool, it's cool. I think I did a bit of that last night, to be honest. <laughs> and you remember the uh, town folks did send a prepare party for you today? Celebrate uh, the release of the Red Brand's tyranny. Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm in no mood for a party. Are we, uh, gonna get out of here? Um, we need to sell the stuff. We can't in this town. Can I'm, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Now? I'm a bit exhausted, and that's gonna affect how I um, perform. So I feel like we should rest uh, another night. I agree. I reckon we should question people today, and then um try and sell as much as we can and then go and um have a nap I... yeah i do have this bag full of crap to get rid of do you have those pellets who, who wants yeah, some I'm pellets who wants some pellets pelts did you mean pelts pelts <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm just carrying the bag of stuff at the moment yeah, the, um, the beaver pelts of magic turned to baby seal pelts. Well, yeah. Do you guys want to deal with the questioning of the red brand guy and I guess sell this stuff off? What do you think? I look at Phelan and say, um, I guess we can do that. Sounds good to me. Right. So, um, what, uh, what, Dan, what time is it at the moment? Um, it's the time is the uh, it is nine. So people are still getting up, uh, they're doing the morning rituals. I would say we'll meet back here in a few hours. Yeah, All people right. are starting to, like, um, also there's some preparations going on, so people are coming out of Stone Hill Inn and, uh, at the moment, that you can see. All right, that sounds like a good idea. We'll meet back here in about two hours. Okay. okay. Um, I'll take you guys uh, to... You know, this is where it takes two hours. Uh, to go uh, quickly, question. like, this town's pretty small. You can get uh, things done pretty fast, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My head's not working too well. I'm just, as a rough guess in it. As you argue with the his voice inside your head. Uh, <laughs> uh, I turn to someone walking on the street and uh, say to them that, oh, wait, yeah, can can I get someone on the street? Yeah. Um, someone's walking right by right now. It looks like a young lad. Are you there, young boy? Oh, hi there. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, I've got... Some things I need to off offload. Oh, where would be the best place to go and uh, get rid of this? Well, uh, Barton's provisions for one. I mean, you guys came, uh, came here on the way here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard you guys may have delivered some supplies to him as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Uh, if right. you guys want some weapons, uh, you can go to the uh, line shield case, sir. Um, the owner of the uh, Magic Guild, sir. Uh, uh, can also sell some weapons there. Uh, but not too many people buy them. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, thank you. And I, uh, I give him a silver piece. Oh, so you got the smithy next to Barson's Revision, so don't forget that. And thank you! Alright, I, uh, wander off over to Barson's Provisions. Okay, uh, anyone come, uh, goes with Thugash? Um... um did we take out take the red brand with it with us? No, the red brand is in the town master's hall. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, yeah, I'll go with. I really don't feel like talking to people and questioning and training things. Alright. So while they're heading that way, I look to feel in and say, um, I guess we should. Start making inquiries. 
Um, ship to me. And head over towards the Town Master's Hall. Uh, um, well, I guess we'll do uh, Bartlett's provisions first. So, uh, yep. Thugash, um, you um, get to Bartlett's provisions, you open the door, and uh, you're greeted by uh, Bartlett. Hey, uh, welcome to Bartlett's provisions, I'm Bartlett. Oh! I believe we we met before. I never did catch your name. Oh, bro, Martin, it's Thargash. Thargash. Ah, well, Mr. Thargash. Uh, 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 oh, you're the one that's. Um... I mean, there's no other orc. But you guys uh, did uh, take a uh, sorry uh, a party down at the inn. Hey, that that's true. That's us. That's us. And uh, that's actually why I've come to see you. Ah, oh, yes. How can I help you? We we'll picked up a few things. I'm just wanting to know, uh... Who is on the train? I'm on the bus. Oh, okay. Um, so I pull out the, the 30 uh, beaver pelts and plonk them on the, on the desk, on, on his bench. Ooh. Uh, you must be really strong to carry that many, on you? Yeah, definitely the castle is in another princess. In fact, I think your bag should be broken, but what else? They're one uh, gram, uh, one kilo, whatever it is each, so t- total weight's only 30. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to complain. Uh, uh, okay. Hmm. I, uh, I won't lie to you. I'm not going to be able to give you a good price on these. Uh, how much were these little worth? Oh, I'd, I'd heard there'd be roughly two gold each, so 60 gold for the lot. Mm. I can offer you a gold each, uh, for each of them. Even that's uh, <laughs> kind of a um, bit steep on there. I can't even buy them all, unfortunately. Uh, uh how about 40 gold and I'll throw some other things in. I mean, if you go to um, if you go to my store, I'm sure there's a uh, play something you uh, maybe you want. Okay, okay. Um, and maybe we what can do you do have? A little, uh, trade. Uh... Trade, perhaps. Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you oh, have? Price. What do you have? I look around. What What does he have? Uh, he has uh, pretty much uh, a lot of standard equipment. Uh, so essentially everything in the uh, standard equipment you'll be able to get from here. Nothing special at all? Uh, uh, he's got some uh, jewelry around, but not much of it. They're not that great quality. Um, the jewelry doesn't have any special things or... Well, I, I especially I, you asking, like if they glow. I um, I ask him, do you, do you happen to have any um, a fine necklace? Uh, unfortunately, with the red brand round, if I did have one, they took it. So, and also traders haven't been able to come into town because with the bread brands uh, harassing anyone that uh, stays here. What about any armor? Um... Do, just, do uh, here, oh, I, I suggest you head over to uh, the smithy. Just across the street. Well, perhaps, Thargash, should we just trade what we can here and then head over how to how many? The how many will you take? Mm, you got 30, right? Yeah. Let's see how much you'll take. Yeah, he, he says he will take, um, four. Two gold each? Uh, for one gold each. <laughs> Alright, so I'll swap him, so the four, four pelts for four gold. Yep. Um, I have, uh, Three gold teeth, if you're interested in those. I'd be willing to pass with them uh, one gold 
One gold each? And three gold? Um, I would suggest just going to the smithy. Um, he could probably melt them down and use them for something. Okay. Oh, I mean, I, I run a store. I mean, what am I going to do with uh, gold teeth? Okay. Well, if uh, that's all you can take off my hands, uh, thank you. Um, thanks. We've got we've got baffled provisions. Can I do anything for the lady? Um, let's see. My thing actually works. Oh, come on! Um, what kind of store was this again? A general store. They can buy rations and, um, oh, maybe even a book here. What good would a book be for me? Ah, uh, maybe you want to write a diary. Oh. Alright, uh, while you think of that, I will quickly go back to Thurman Beth. Yeah, it's a Thurman feeling. feeling. Uh, well, uh, you guys just, uh, rock up at the oh, Tent Master's, uh, hall. Um, you knock on his door, right? Alright, wrap on the door with the butt of the spear. And I'm standing behind him. Uh, kind of strangely stopped there. Uh, you hear the. Thud, thud, thud. And then uh, you hear the old man's voice. I'll be with you in a second. <laughs> I yell back, okay. <laughs> ah, I, I thought I heard you. Uh, uh, I don't think I ever uh, got your name. Well, uh, we should know our name of our uh, saviors. Well, I know your name's Harbin. And my name is Throwing Bear. I motion um, towards Feelin and say, do you want to introduce yourself? Oh, uh, when you say your name, he's a bit taken aback. I mean, throwing bears is a very un, uh, uh, weird name, to say the least. <laughs> and I'm a very weird looking fellow uh, to him, and so, you know, he should be taken aback anyway. <laughs> um, uh, do I call you, um, Mr. Bear or Throwing? Um... Throwing Bear? If my name was perhaps... Mr. Throwing Bear, I would have introduced myself as Mr. Throwing perhaps, Bear. Perhaps uh, I could just call you uh, Bear for short. No, Throwing Bear will do properly. Uh, <laughs> I, I guess if th that's what you'd rather be called. Well, unless you've got another name for me, but I can't think uh, of one. Uh, anyways, uh. Um, Oh, so you're about to introduce yourself, I'm sorry, uh... No. Name's Feeling. You're quite a strange one to still be, uh, robed up, but... You say to our town, there's, uh... I won't ask you uh, too many... ...questions. Oh, anyways, come in, come in. Another place to hold a, co a conversation. How tall is the door? Do I have to duck? Yes. Okay, I duck as I come <laughs> it's, in the door. It's six feet. <laughs> okay. So it's not a big I'm, duck. I'm... Actually, no, it's seven feet, so you, you kind of had to duck a bit, but not much. I'm going to assume that most of the doors in this town you're going to have to duck with. <laughs> okay, I'm ducking in through the door. Yeah, the town out of is also a quite nice building, so... Um, yeah, it's quite uh, nice and roomy in here. Okay. So, I say to Harbin... So, how is... How red brand captive doing? Oh, he hasn't woken up yet. Uh, you gave him quite a thrashing. <laughs> I've just got a big sheepish grin on my face. Uh, yes, yeah. Uh, they're quite glad that you know, at least taken one. I mean, uh, we'll show uh, any of the uh, any bats that come here. Yeah, um, what happens? But unfortunately, Silver came uh, by and said that uh, he'll be uh, that we should uh, take him. Um, uh, he sent uh, should send word to Neverwinter. 
and uh, some guards will probably come up and pick him up. Seems like a long way to go for guards from Neverwinter. Yes, yeah. None of uh, us want to go down just to escort some red branch scum. Well, I think he may have some information that we could use. Mind if uh, we... Well, if you want to try and work him up, be my guest. I don't really care what you do to him. Thank you. Lead the way, please. Oh, uh, yes, he's just down here. He leads you uh, into a room with a young boy standing uh, by with a club. If, uh, if uh, yeah, the red rat gets any funny ideas. Hello, young boy. What is your name? You had to ask his name, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> his name's Susan. Apparently. Well, Susan, it's Susan. nice to meet you. The, the, the name's Susan. Nice to meet you. Is there anywhere that you would rather be right now? I can look after this one. A standing guard uh, uh, at the door is boring as hell. But someone's got to do it. I've got a pretty rock. And I hand him a uh, garnet and tell him to run along and throw it at someone. Um, thank you. He's perplexed, but he starts walking along. And the town master sees this here, he's got a weird face uh, as well. But he just kind of uh, rubs his temples and uh, lets you in. Alright. Yeah, it's a, a room uh, in, um, yeah, near the middle, so there's no windows in here. I'm do a thing real quick. Can I give him a Sorry. The door. I love you. Mwah! Off you go. What condition is the red brand in? Um, he, he looks like he's just sleeping. He's just um, tucked under. Um, he's in a bed uh, with some uh, blankets on him. Can I check and see if there's anything that I can do to kind of aid in his healing? Real quick. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can. Uh, you want to look out while he's being taken care of? I mean, I guess just roll a medicine check. Uh, can I poke him while this is happening? Sure. And where are you poking him? Just in the eye. <laughs> shoulder. He groans. No, no, he groans a little. So does it look like he's being looked after uh, well, or? Uh, relatively well. Uh, it looks like the um, at least giving him uh, medical treatment, not to uh, at least kill him. <sighs> So yeah, he's, he's in pretty good at shape, but it doesn't look like he can really do much more. Ah. Um, and do, uh, medicine-wise anyways. I poke him again. He, uh, you just kinda... Yeah, he doesn't really have any reaction. I grab my water skin and empty the whole thing on his head. Like, half waterboarding yeah, uh... him. See if he wakes up from that. Yeah, he wakes up. Nice to see you're awake, friend. Yeah. Oh, as he's waking up, he, he starts, like, uh, trying to breathe because he feels like he's drowning. <laughs> Is the town master still with us? Yes. He, never, he didn't tell him to go away or anything, so... I look, he really, he doesn't... Uh, if you look at him, he doesn't give two shits. I look to, um, Harbin and say, Would it be too much to ask for you to fetch Silda? I think we could learn some information, and it might make sense for him to be here. Uh, yes, uh, I'll, I'll send um, the young boy to go fetch him. Thank you. Uh, he, as he leaves the room, then uh, he goes to look for that young boy. Is there any way I can lock the door from the inside? Uh, it looks like the door locks from the outside. I stand in front of the door so that it, if it opens, it'll bump me and alert me. And I um, 
I, I take the you, hood you'll off. You'll probably be able to hear someone coming as well, so. I take my hood off and I just stare menacingly at the red brain. Ah, so you can see the horns and the black eyes, okay. Trying to be intimidating. Well, I'm pretty but... sure with uh, Throwing Bear, he's intimidated as fuck, right? <laughs> Considering Batman. Throwing Bear's the yeah. guy that put him in this condition. <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, anyways, yeah. after, uh, he wakes up. He... Intimidation. While you're doing this, uh, you can say, you're, you're the one. Oh, God. Oh. Yes, oh. I am. I am the one. Everything hurts. I oh. know. I think you should tell us what you know. Otherwise, I might have to try again. Oh, God. What do you want? What were you we guys doing? Red Red what were you guys doing for Glass Staff? We did what I'd be freaking ass. I mean, we got plenty of her gold and alcohol. It was a pretty good gig. Let me put it oh. to you this way, friend. We wanted Glassstaff, but one of our companions obliterated him. And I want the information that he had. So what can you tell me? I'm just thinking of, uh, sorry, I was like, do we really know the word obliterated? <laughs> That's valid point, yeah. Um, <laughs> one of our... <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, <laughs> retcon, um, <laughs> one of our companions turned him to dust, and I want the information, what can you tell me? Um, now let me see why you maybe know. Alright, so. I'm just glaring at him with my black eyes. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see you when uh, we've, we've got a giant um, man standing in front of you. I sit on the end of the bed so he can get full view of both of us. <laughs> I mean, this guy's in full pain right now. I mean, he's, it's, uh, even, uh, it's even painful for him to breathe. I um, cross my arms and clear my throat to get him to look at me. He, he avoids eye contact with you. Um, uh, all I know is that Glass Stars works for some fella there called the Black Spider. Ugh. Oh. I mean, apparently, um, we're just meant to uh, frighten off uh, any, um, when it comes uh, snooping around this area. And why is that? I don't know. But for some uh, reason, um, that black spider guy sent some bugbears down, uh, which was weird as hell, I but hey, I was still getting paid. Hmm. What were the bugbears doing while they were in your hideout? <sighs> they, they usually freaking played with the freaking slave, they would sometimes just, um, uh, step on his feet or something, get him to lick at the feet, it was really weird. But... We didn't ask questions, they kept it themselves. Surely you must have seen them doing something. There's no they reason. Sat, they sat around all day, pretty much doing nothing but eating and sleeping and torching their little goblin friend. Okay. How long ago did the bugbears come? Hucking out! <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I believe it says anywhere, so uh, I'm, I'm just gonna say, um... Feeling's getting impatient, and... Can, can I just interject? Yep. Getting impatient, Feeling just looks at him and goes, Do you know where Rockseeker is? The fuck is a Rockseeker? The merchant who was... Whose... Wagon was captured just a few days ago? I didn't hear anything about freaking capturing a wagon. It would have been glass stuff. I would have known anything about that. So you mean to tell me that you have no information that 
I can use. What do you want from me? I just took my orders. Oh, it, you know, that was a really good gig. I mean, all we had to do is just shake down some stupid people in this town and we get our feel of uh, I the, clear whatever my throat we want. Loudly. <clears throat> You might want to choose some better words, considering your position. You've already broken pretty much every body in my chest. What else could you do? I could sit on you. I roll intimidation with advantage. <laughs> uh. No. <laughs> Yeah, uh, he seems uh, a bit scared, considering that uh, you're a big fella. <laughs> Let's uh, not go there. I mean, if you did that, you'd probably kill me. Well, do you value your life? Obviously. Then cough up some information. I just told you all I know. Can well. I? Uh do a perception check to see if you're lying. Inside, yeah. Yeah. Don't roll inside. I can't. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. That's alright, yeah. Um, don't worry, you want to do that for all? Yeah. Inside. Oh, so it's going to take me longer to get home than I thought with bloody scared this game was. <laughs> well, we got going on to nine, so it should be fine. <laughs> Ten on inside. Yeah, he looks as truthful as you can tell. Hmm. I hear I that they're, they're planning a celebration, and I don't know what the public here think about public killings, but the way you guys have been treating them, I wouldn't be surprised if they would celebrate that. So surely. <sighs> Surely, you must know something. Where did Glassstaff get his information from, from this black spider? Was a messenger sent? Yeah, of course there was a messenger. Do you Not know who the messenger was? No, he would just send to the tunnels whenever they feel like it. He just looked like an average Joe to me. When was the last message that Glassstaff got? When did you um, arrive? Uh, about five days ago. I look at Phelan and say, That was before we got here. Well and truly. Yes. Actually, if I think about it, that was probably when we were just uh, attacking the Goblin Cave. That was about three days ago. Oh, was it? Or two. Because I thought it took three days to travel here from the Goblin Cave. Uh, no, you guys got there in the same day. After oh, okay. Alright. Just late at night. And then you guys rested here for the day, so yeah. it's been about two days, actually. So. And that's why you guys got exhausting, because you guys cleared the, the Goblin Cave, then you guys cleared the Red Brand hideout. All right. And then we did it. I mean, your body's like, uh, getting stronger, but I mean, you got to give it some time to rest. Yeah. Say, so, um, how often would Glass Staff get a messenger? Uh, it, it wasn't uh, very often. I mean, we've uh, only been set up here for about three months. So, did he get messages uh, every week, or...? No, it was random. Sometimes a message would just uh, rock up in. The, class, uh, the boss told us not to um, mess with him, so we didn't. We just went about our business. Hmm. I don't know that I have any more questions, I say the feeling. Neither do I. We should kill him. Um, uh, I thought if I told you anything 
wouldn't kill me. You didn't really tell us anything, though. I told you all I know! It's not my fault. I, uh, I'm not nosy uh, buddy that re listens to every conversation the boss has. I just chuckle and say, that was a test and you passed. Get some rest, you, Friday. Uh, you have a sick humor, you know that. And you're an idiot. Get some rest. I hear it's a bumpy ride back to Neverwinter. Oh, oh. Probably just gonna execute me there. Well, wouldn't you? You know, I may have a small stash in somewhere, but you let me go. <laughs> I'm not letting you go. You've done many a bad thing to a many a people. And if your stash gets found, then whoever finds it gets to keep it. If it goes hidden, well, so be it. Well, no one's fine here. <sighs> and I'm not telling anyone unless I get out of your life. <laughs> In your condition, you wouldn't be able to travel. I'd rather try. Than uh, sit here and wait for my death. I look at Phelan and uh, grin slyly and say, Can I speak to you outside? Sure. You walk just outside the door. My hood's back on, by the way. I just say, um, hmm? I, I say, I almost want to let him go and see where he goes and then capture him again if uh, he uh, tries to get too far. Yeah, I agree, but I think we should run that by the others first. Hmm. I agree. Maybe Droop has some more information. I know he doesn't know a lot, but surely he between one of these two, they should have found some form of information that might be helpful to us. You think so? So, um, I guess I walk to the door and uh, of the of uh, Townmaster's Hall and wait for Silda to come. All right. Um... All right. So we'll quickly head back to yeah. uh, Bob's provisions. Um, uh, Sandy, do you want anything? Does. Um, while looking around in his shop, right. I, I turn to him and say, uh, Barton, would would you be interested in uh, trading three beaver pelts for uh, one grappling hook and one set of wood carver's tools? Uh, I believe a grappling hook is just like a rope with um, a grappling uh, hook on the end. <laughs> Uh, essentially, just uh, it's a hook with um, it's like a kind of like a um, like a three pronged uh, fish hook kind of thing. Yeah, for for climbing. Yeah, you, you want that? That and the wood carver's set. Nah, uh, yeah, maybe he's happy to trade for that. Ooh, all right, I'll put that out. Um, a quick question: Would the was it the smithy who would be I'd see for um? Weapons, or would that be the Lion Shield coaster? Uh, this is me. Um, you, uh, you want to head to? Uh, you did hear that the Lion Shield coaster does have some weapons, though. Okay. Uh, well, I'll start heading over there, but if uh, Alexia wants to do anything. Um, I wanted to buy two rations. Yep. I believe there were gold eight. Uh, two. I oh, know. Two. Let me quickly check. Yeah. Go down to equipment. Um. Ration. Ration, ration, ration. Uh. Right, rations, uh, cost five, uh, silver pieces. Each. So, if you want two, it's one gold. Or you can pay in silver if you want. Um, I also have another dilemma. Huh? 
Um, I my coin purse is quite heavy because of all the gold pieces I have. Is there a higher currency than gold pieces? Platinum. Platinum. And how many a gold piece to a platinum? And does this uh, guy have any? I think it's yeah, ten. Yeah. Yeah. Doubt you'd find it in a regional town like this. Yeah. You would have to go to uh, like somewhere like Neverwinter to get platinum. Yeah. It's okay. pretty high currency, but you can get uh, trade gems in for, uh, uh, which uh, essentially is the same thing. It's currently it's just like a currency exchange, which gems just don't weigh from anything. How much is a gem? Depends on the gem. Yeah. Uh, so um, if my total weight is seventy eight kilos. Um, that's a lot, isn't it? Mm, is that too heavy really? for me, or is that okay? Um, I believe, like, you can carry up to, like, 150 or something with, uh, a drink water for uh, 10, but it depends what you're carrying. Uh, because your bag may not be able to hand, uh, hand a little. I have a backpack. Yeah. Oh, well, it's the, the weight that's bothering me is, uh, my queen purse. It's giving me back problems. Walking a bit lopsided. <laughs> um, okay, I'll leave it. Never mind. Uh, uh, I would suggest uh, a pouch then. Uh, it makes it a little easier carrying uh, gold rather than just carrying your backpack, actually. Uh, most people carry a pouch. Oh, do I not have a pouch? Okay, you I'll buy one. Do it. I mean, you don't make sure have one, but apparently you don't. If you don't have it on your sheet, you don't have one. Okay, um, your finest pouch, please. Oh, I have a silk pouch of Canalia. What's a silk pouch of Canali? Can Canila Liar. Canalia. Can you just uh, copy and paste it in the in the DM of Discord? Um, I get the feeling Discord. you've misspelled it. <laughs> I have five. Carnelians. Ah, uh, okay. So they're full of things. Carnelians. Yeah. Are they any use? I think they're gems or are they flowers? I think they're flowers. Can't remember. <laughs> a carmelia. Oh, carmelia. That's, a, that's, that's, a, a, that's a plant. That's a plant. Not, oh, well, not I'll, just, I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll figure that out later. Um, I just uh, want to remember it? Um, it was with one of the things that I found. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it was. I think it's it? either gems or um, uh, spell components. Oh, uh, yeah. I can either sell it or. <laughs> Alright, either way, um, I would but like I to buy a pouch. Yeah, it's a, uh, you can buy a leather pouch here. That's by far... Pouches cost five silver pieces. Okay. And they weigh um, one IB. One LB, one pound. Okay. I'm done here, I would like to go to the other place. Okay, um, you guys are signing out of the smithy, uh, uh, or whatever you guys want to head. Uh, where are you guys actually heading? I went to, across the road to the smithy. I'm with him. Right. Um, you guys head off there, we'll just quickly go back to the town masters. Um, you guys wait there for a bit, and then, uh, he rocks up, uh, uh, the town master's, uh, um, uh, uh, is waiting with you, and he, uh, the young boy as well, Silva, comes in. Uh, he was eventually able to find him. Ah, uh, ah, yes, uh, I hear that you're required for me. Uh, can I, how can I help you? We were just speaking with the captive bandit, and although he didn't seem to have a lot of useful information he did seem to speak of a messenger that would come on occasion to class 
maybe it might be worthwhile setting a trap for the uh, messenger the next time he comes. Uh, I, I'm sorry, but I mean, he knew that we were coming on that road, and uh, he certainly knew about you guys. Um, get it, singer. Uh, he's got some uh, his spies around here, so I, I'm not sure if he'll even come back or not. Well, unless they know that Glassstaff is dead, I don't see I mean, we're the... celebrating um, the, the Red Brands being defeated, so I'm pretty sure word's gotten around town by now. So you <laughs> suspect someone in town to be an informant? Well, being... Even if it wasn't someone in town, I mean, um, obviously not many people come from outside of town, so... It's still worth a try, isn't it? In all honesty, there's a very low chance of a, a messenger coming. Well, it was a thought. On an, another note, we we did come across a goblin that was in there, and he seems to be somewhat friendly towards us. Um, we haven't really spoken to him in, in much detail about what was going on, would you like to join us while we discuss with him about glass stuff? Uh, if you think this goblin may know something, I, I guess. It seems unusual that two people that we managed to recover, or two creatures that we recovered, know nothing. Surely there must be some information that we could get from the goblin. That's why I kind of suggested you get uh, the boss. He uh, would have uh, known all the ins and outs of what was going on. A little bit difficult when he turned into dust on kind of the first <laughs> first <laughs> side of combat. We didn't expect him to be quite so fragile. Well, I didn't roll that much health for him, unfortunately. <laughs> Huh? So you're the mastermind. Kill him! <laughs> Kill him with fire! Uh, what did I just say? Oh, never mind. Uh, well, you guys uh, did at least capture uh, one of them. You, yeah, it didn't seem like he knew much. He wasn't really talking. Not uh, when I asked him. But, um, we'll let the guards back in the... Uh, uh, Winterfell uh, deal with him. I suggest they give him a little bit of a, you know, a punch in the rib just to make him feel at home. We don't condone torture in the civilized world. It's not torture, it's reinforcing a bad lesson. Which we call torture here in the civilized world. Well, he shouldn't have done a naughty thing and he wouldn't get punched in the ribs. I mean, he's probably going to uh, hang or have beheaded. I really uh, couldn't care less either way. Oh well. Let's go and talk with Drew. Is that your goblin friend? Well, he's a goblin. He seems like he, you know, wants to uh, be our slave. But that seems a bit barbaric. Slavery is quite barbaric, yes. Fortunately, it does happen. Well, let's go and have a talk with him and see uh, what he may do. Yes, uh, lead the way. Um, I'm sorry, but, uh... Every character's name. <laughs> the town must I, go, I need to go. Hey, uh, 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 yes, yes, uh, we'll look after the red brand and help you guys go. See you later, Harbin. A tear comes to his eye as someone remembers his name. <laughs> <laughs> when not even the DM remembers his name. <laughs> I've got the list over now, so I'll remember it. <laughs> anyway, so... How I remember it is this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Alright, so you guys head off, well, yeah, right, we'll go back to, uh, Bagash, um, and, uh, Alexia. 
get the um, head to the smithy. And you can hear the uh, pounding of metal. I walk in with my fingers plugged into my ears. Oh, oh the smithy! Oh, I just missed the bus. Rip. <sighs> Alright, there's another one too. Uh, you said stop the smithy. I said ho oh, the smithy. The smithy. Ho oh, the smithy. Yeah, ho, I didn't like getting his attention. Ah, okay. I was gonna say, that's not very nice, calling him a ho. Uh, all of a sudden, the, the, um, you hear the pounding of metal stops and you, you hear someone coming out to the uh, front of the, of the desk. Uh, I pull my fingers out from me, within my ears. And walk up to him. God damn it! It's a... One sec, I need to see here. Freaking run this bloody smithy. <laughs> John, John, <laughs> Jacob Jingleheim and Smith. Smithy. <laughs> yeah, John Jacob Jingleheim and Smithy. <laughs> <laughs> According to this list, uh, he's not on it. That's his name. We just call him John Smithy. Why Second not name, Jane? Jacob. Third name, Jingle. Fourth name, Hyman. Jane, yeah. Well, if, who says it has to be a male? <laughs> we can have feminism in the... Uh, because the Jane... <laughs> because, um, <laughs> what was it? Jane, Jacob, Jingle, Hyman, <laughs> Smith just doesn't have the same ring to it. I don't know, I kind of like that. Uh, that was his name. Uh, apparently, he's not in here. So, his name is. Oldrick von Lichtenstein. <laughs> Heath Ledger. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's save you, freaking male females. Uh, like Just male. call it Alex. Alright, so uh, ah. a, a man comes out. Uh, uh, from behind the um, desk in the back. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, greetings. I was just inquiring as to whether or not you sell any uh, great axes. Or any large weaponry for that matter. Uh, well, I haven't made a weapon in a while. I uh, usually just make tools. Uh, I can make you one, but uh, you can also go to the shield coaster. I'm, I'm sure... Uh, uh, they'll help you there. Okay, thank you for your time. <laughs> I walk straight back out and go to the line shield coaster. No grants for custom job? No. Yeah, so uh, essentially you guys travel. would pass each other, so yeah, uh, you guys uh, meet up uh, uh, halfway across. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I say to Sargash, the red brand doesn't seem to know very much. I threatened to sit on him and he started talking very quickly. It was funny. Ah! Oh, so you still nothing, still nothing. No, we're, yeah. we're taking Silda to go and have a talk with Droop. Droop? The goblin? Oh, right, right, yeah, him, him. Uh, oh, I've, uh, I've tried uh, to offload some of these pelts, but this town can't really afford very much. One last stop for me, I'm just going to see if there's any weaponry worth buying here at the Iron Shield Coaster, and then I'll meet up with you guys. I could probably make a blanket out of the pelts if if you can't get rid of them, but I don't really need a blanket. Does anyone need a blanket? Yeah, uh, me. It's fucking cold out here. I'll, I'll make you a blanket. <laughs> I'm talking uh, to IRL. I have a... I'm kidding. <laughs> I have a bed roll. Does that count as a blanket or is that something separate? Uh it's feeling like it's burrum if I was <laughs> Is a bed roll the same thing as a blanket? Jason. Oh what? Uh, is a bed roll the same as a blanket? I've got a blanket in my inventory as well as a bed roll. Essentially it's uh, like a mattress. Okay, well, uh, I'll see it's how I go. It's a camping mattress, basically. Yeah. Okay. One and there's just one, there's just one other thing I need to grab. Um, I'll meet up with you guys back at the, uh, at your camp. 
Okay. Cool. And I just jog off. Alright, our paths finish crossing and we head up to Droop. I wanna see okay. I wanna see Droop, so I'm coming with you guys. <laughs> Alright, uh Alexia fucks up uh get uh, gets uh like Ashen decides to go uh, let's see uh let's have it with Droop. Uh we'll just quickly do the line shield guys so then. Yep. Alright, so uh thank you, you get to the line shield guys, so it looks like a nice building. If there's a merchant guild on it, uh of the line shield guys, the caravans. Um, you going? Oh yeah, yeah. I and you're greeted by the familiar face of uh, the lady, uh, you know, the little Leister. Hello there, hi again, how are you? Ah, oh, hi, I didn't, uh, I heard, um, uh, great things about you, uh, of late. Oh, it was, it was all the best, but, but thanks. Um, yes, uh, how can I, I help you? Just... Wanting to know if anyone in this town happens to have any weapons I could buy. Ah, well, the smithy could help you there, but... Uh... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I facepalm myself. This is like a ass mom, Mate. no ass dad, no ass mom. Mate, he can, he can uh, build them for you, but I've got some in store here if you want to buy some. Ooh, what do you have? Is that like... Uh, like looking around anxiously? Do 100 for me. See if she's got a great axe for you. That's what you want, right? Ooh. Oh yeah. Or, or a great sword. It is something great. <laughs> okay, so 1d100. Yep. Yeah. What's the code? Roll space 1d asterisk 100? Or you could click the d20 up on the top left. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh, well, that's awesome. Uh, Jason, um... Yeah? With the component... Oh, 89! Do I need to buy a component pouch and put things in it? You don't need a component pouch because you, you're a druid focus. Oh, okay, never mind. Cool. I just rolled an 89! Girl. Let's see what you got. Um, I'll roll for myself. How are we all this evening? Hope we're all doing well. Yeah, it looks like she's got a mall. Is it a, sta a standard mall? Yeah. A mall is basically a great uh, mace, isn't it? Uh, it? Yeah, it's a great mace, yeah. It's does, like a sledgehammer. Yeah, it does, uh, what's its damage? Uh, actually, yeah, no, she's got a uh, great axe as well. For some reason. Um, is it any better than what I've currently got? If you're asking if it's magical or not, no. Oh, so there's well, literally, there's, there's literally... Weapons to be it, um, it's pretty rare to get magical weapons in this. Okay, I just didn't know whether or not she had, like, something up on a fucking wall that had been there forever. That kind of thing. But if, if, if I've already got the best weapon I can carry, I don't wear any armor, then there's nothing for me to do here, so... I'll, um... Yeah, just... Uh, she's got plenty of simple weapons as well. Nah, I'm not interested. Thank you, time! Don't want to throw any axes or javelins or something? Nah, uh, I've got some javelins. Cool. My hand axes, huh? Um, uh, the one last thing I want to do is just go to the woodworker and get, ask him for a hunk of fucking wood. Uh, okay, uh, you just wanted to come in here and, uh, look at I have and look out. What I have? Peace! <laughs> <laughs> 
keep my swing with a great axe over my shoulder. <laughs> Guess we head back to the camp, uh, Silver and uh, the rest of the party. Oh, um, before uh, we're heading back to the camp, I would like to go back to Barthen's provisions and get, um... I'd say you can quickly pop in, so what do you want? Uh, five healer's kits. Healer's kit. Healer's kit. What the fuck does a healer kit do? I don't know, but I figured that I would be able to heal people without using my own. You need. I think you, you need. A feat. I think you need a feat to be able to use. I think you need the healer feat to be able to use the healer kits. Oh, it's just an adventuring. Kit. Yeah, but I think, I think, I think anyone can use that a, a healer's kit to stabilize someone if they've been knocked unconscious and stops them rolling a death save. Uh, I'm just sure it's a standard it item. Stabilize someone. So yeah, essentially, it's a first aid kit, I think, but I can't find the description on it. This kit is a leather pouch containing bandages, salves, and splints. The kit has ten uses. An action: you can expend one to use the kit to stabilize a creature that has zero hit points <laughs> without me needing to make a wisdom or medicine check. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You can stabilize someone with it. Okay, I'll buy one healer's kit. You could just be badass like me and uh, get all my saves. <laughs> <laughs> to stabilize people anyway. Alright, uh, that's, that's five gold. And it weighs three pounds. Just to that... keep everyone updated, it looks like I'm probably not going to get home until 8.20. <laughs> <laughs> that it sucks. faster to walk home, Jesus. It's only that when I got to Penrith, I missed the connecting bar. Uh, we've only got an hour left of the session, so let's try and go keep uh, this going. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so uh, to right. Keep your praise. Yeah. No, sorry, since we don't have enough time. <laughs> time! Anyway, so you guys get back to camp um, after Alexa Drew really jumps by the store, and you guys see Drew uh, picking his nails and he's eating the gunk between them. Drew. Ooh. Maybe yeah, not I'm... in front of company. I ran oh, yeah. Masters are back. How can you observe? We were hoping that you might be able to tell us some more information about glass stuff. I think I have the glass stuff. Um, uh, I know he's the boss of the, uh, those humans. Yes. And do you know anything about why the Black Spider sent the Knolls and you to Glassstaff? Uh, first off, it was bugbears. Knolls are completely different. <laughs> ah, bugbears. And, uh... He, uh... He, he looks up, he... he Dances around the circle a little, and then he goes, um, um, I could probably find a black spider. Who were your, who were the bugbears that you were a slave to, working for? Uh, now that you mentioned they work, they mentioned they were worked for a black spider, that, but that's a bit weird, don't you know? I mean, why would someone work for a small bug? It's not really a bug. It's a name that someone had taken. You think so? Yes. Huh, I've been thinking it's been a bug this entire time. That's okay. Can you tell me anything that uh, the bugbears you work for had talked about? About this black spider? Uh, don't think they mentioned him too much. They usually just, uh, kicked me a lot. For some yeah. reason, they had some foot fetish, but they liked me cleaning the, the, uh, the feet. Apparently, yeah. I'm good at it. Would you like a foot cleaning, no. Master? 
You sure? Well, I mean, if you're offering... He will lick your feet. Why would you lick my feet? That's how he cleans them. That's how you clean everything, don't you know? No. I'm the best foot cleaner in the... Uh, uh, the same day is. We will teach you, but that's not how it's done. Well, uh, well, if Mass is a uh, uh, don't do it, foot cleaning, um, and you want to know about a uh, black um, thingy, um, um, uh, sorry, I, I uh, don't know too much about that. Did you go anywhere else, or just to this place with the red brand ruffians? Or did they take you anywhere else, maybe with some dwarves around? I mean, I hang uh, around with the bugbears for a while. Uh, they, they received the, the orders and yeah. Um, uh, we went the, to that cave and then we continued the same rituals of them beating me, kicking me. <sighs> where were they, where were you when you got these New orders. Uh, place called, uh, I believe, Cragmore Castle. That's the one. Cragmore Castle. Nothing. How Do you know where this castle is? They beat me a lot, sir. So don't remember the place too much. Do you remember where it is? Uh. I think so. Um, and I know the general direction. Yeah, yeah. Could you take a step, Mark? If Master says to find it, I find it. I'm good at finding things. Then I guess we have a plan. I'm finding things. I got it. <laughs> you can really tell. Do you, what were, what else was at Cragmore Castle? I really don't remember. Was there many things living there, or were you and the bugbears all that were there? Ah, uh, I, I believe uh, no. The bugbears uh, worked around it. They were one of the patrol groups. So we usually uh, camped outside. Okay. But you remember nothing of the inside or you yep. may have seen. How many other patrol groups were there, do you remember? You remember the counting incident. <laughs> were there more than what is here? Uh, uh, he scratches his head and he says he doesn't know. That's okay. I, I, I don't think a slave usually gets to know this stuff. Well, you're not a slave anymore. You just can work for us. But Droop's always been a slave. And now you're Droop not. not slave, then you remind me of Nobby. If you want to be with us, that is okay. But you will not be a slave. You will be... One of our Family! workers. I wouldn't go that far. You can uh, work yeah, for us. Uh, uh, Alexa, do you actually say that? Well, it's probably out of character. No way. <laughs> I give him a silver coin and say, here is your first name. Bites it. This silvery. I pull out a gold piece and I say, "No, this is a payment fit for you, Droopy." Ooh. He bites it and tastes it. Can I have that, Droop? If Master uh, wants it, yes. I will trade yes. you a rock for it. I hand him a garnet. Great. Uh, if myself wants. 
he holds to the rock, yeah. Bites the rock! <laughs> Fancy rock! And that's um, all of my garnets. Um, <laughs> um, Root, do you want any more gold for those things? If Master wants, you have. No, it's not up to me, it's up to you. Would you like gold or would you like the garnets? Um. Keep the garnet, Droop. A rock is more useful than some shiny disc. Yeah, it's good. I'm just gonna do a quick check. Let's see if he wants gold more. <laughs> that doesn't make sense for you, Saga. Yeah, he, he doesn't... Uh... Oh, that's very <laughs> Essentially, it's, he doesn't know which one he wants, so I'm just making him do a roll because he doesn't understand the concept of value. Throwing Bear and Droop have something in common. <laughs> I was going to say clearly, but yeah, that's you. Uh. Um. How about a big uh, Garnet? Sorry? How much is uh, worth the garnet? Ten gold pieces. And, uh, he, he looks at the gem. He, he looks at it. Oh, gem's kind of shiny. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of like the rock. Is it just you can the see one? through it? Just the, the one. one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, if you want to keep it, then you can do. You can have something. Yes. It's yours. Masters is giving uh, Droop ownership of something. Would you like a sock? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Would you like a sock? <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter he, reference. He's not Dobby, okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Because I get such big Dobby vibes off him. <laughs> oh, I said Nobby before. <laughs> <laughs> no, he doesn't make kitchens. And he can't do the and doesn't have magic, so... Anyways, um... I... I, I like rock, I'll, I'll keep... Uh... It, I grew up happy that, uh, Master's now, uh... Ownership of something. Group mm -hmm. only allowed to usually, uh, own clothes. Well... Uh, someone that works for us would have to be... Given things to... Pay for them... Working, and you've given us information, so um, we paid. Master, what the uh, what does pay mean? You get something for doing something. Let's see if you can understand this concept or not. <laughs> oh, wow, he apparently does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So um, I look to Silda and say, Well, our goblin friend here doesn't really have a lot of information, but at least he's given us a direction to look into. Yeah, yes. Uh, at least uh, you got somewhere to look. Uh, I, would, uh, I would go with you, but uh, being unarmed, uh, I don't think I'll be of much use to you. Can I Can do an insight check on um, Silda, please? Sure, roll. You think uh, he's uh, as honest as the flowers in your head? Well, uh, is there anything else you wanted to know uh, with your insight check? Um, well, I'm not going to be able to find out anything with a five, so no. Unless I can roll again, no. But I would like to note that I'm, feel, I'm giving him the eyes, like, mm, is he legit? He did have everything stolen. Sorry? He did have everything stolen. Before you yeah, freed him. But did he? <laughs> yes. 
We looted <laughs> everything in that cave and none of his crap was there. Yeah, but where is he? He almost died in that cave as well, so... It could have been all of that. I know, I just, I just, you know. I look to Sildur and say, We can always pay for some more equipment if you did want to come with us. Uh, Uh, Sorry? I mean, I probably have to wait for Thank you. We currently don't have any armor or weapons. Well, we, Sorry, could always, we, we could always pay for some more equipment for you if you wanted to come. Oh, yes, I would very much uh, love to come. I look at uh, Phelan and say, um, I'm not sure how much stuff is. Would you help with getting silver some equipment? I have a short sword as long as well as well as two short swords, don't I? I can't, don't have my character sheet, so. Um, um can uh, we maybe take five minute Siggy break? Um, yep. wait until, um, Nicole gets inside her house? Uh, no, we don't have that much longer left, so. Yeah. Oh, what time do you want to do? It's 8.23, we we'll finish at 9. Usually. Do we have to finish it, though? If you guys want to extend, uh, but if someone can't, I don't think we should. Just keep in mind. Like, more. I could extend, I'm not worried about that. If anyone else doesn't want to, then that's fine. But I'm happy to keep going. Yeah. I'm happy to keep going, I'm just worried about... I can probably go to 9.30. I've got a job to do in my morning. Yeah, 9.30 works for me, too. No, I'd say I'll go to 9.30. Yep. Go have your CD breaks. <laughs> Alright, um, so... I can finally eat my freaking pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Nicole, you've got uh, two short swords and two daggers. In Don't your... I have the fancy short sword as well? Ah, yes. Yep. You do have that in there as well, yes. So, potentially, I could loan him my short sword. Um, he would prefer using a long sword. Okay. Alright. All right, well, I guess we'll take a five-minute break, and um, then we'll go into it all then. All right, so, <laughs> can we get stay on door? Three. I'm just loading World 20. No, you can still talk, so. We'll just yeah. Start. All right, so, we'll get back to Silda. You said you preferred uh, having a short sword, and you can also use a, a heavy crossbow. <clears throat> I guess we're gonna have to buy you a sword. Um, couldn't we just... I mean, we can buy one, but we could also just go back to the manor and load him up from stuff from there. We didn't find any more There was light crossbows there, not heavy crossbows. Oh, okay. Uh, also, you could, um, he can, um... So heavy armor, so... <clears throat> he'll prefer, um... He doesn't mind the cheapest of which is the chain mail. But uh, that's the that's surprising. So, Wait, did, did so you... what weapons can he have? He'd prefer a long sword and heavy crossbow. A uh, heavy crossbow is guild. Long sword's fifteen. Can he use a light crossbow? He can yes. Well, I can just give him my light crossbow with 20 crossbow bolts. Uh, it'll, it'll do, I guess. Uh, I miss that heavy crossbow. It's so useful. Would you also like a skimitar? Skimitar? They'd prefer a longsword, to be honest. Alright, well let's have a look at how much a long sword is. It's 15 gold. Don't bother in this town. <laughs> if I was there. You said 15 or 50? 15. Um, um, I'm willing to put in for it. Um, you would prefer having some uh, heavy armor as well, so the cheapest you can get is... Um, um, 
right now, which is setting up. I think the arm is pushing it. Yeah. I mean, otherwise he's gonna... Uh, he's not feeling too confident that he's uh, gonna be able to stop a hit uh, if he doesn't have any armor. I'm gonna say if he has, doesn't have any dex. Alright, well, I'll buy him an armor if he takes the scimitar. I guess we'll have to compromise then. Sorry? Sorry. I guess I'll have to compromise. Alright, I give him my scimitar. And um I find uh what's it who would take a peri dot which is worth fifteen gold each? A what? A peri dot. It's a gemstone. Bath's provisions. Alright. Uh, uh, carrying Jeb is probably more well worthwhile than carrying gold. If you want to save a capacity. Sorry? It's better to get rid of the gold than to get rid of gems. Ah, uh, okay. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll go buy him goddamn cheapest armor we can find. So you guys said to the smithy, um, it's the only place in town that actually has, um, wood cell armor. <clears throat> I guess I'll put in for it, begrudgingly. Hmm. You said it'll, it'll take, uh, him, um, at, at least two days to make it. To, to party on tonight and everything, he can't really work tonight. Two days. Do we really need skill guard to come with us? Well, it is his boss that is in danger, so it would make sense for him uh, to come along. Yeah, well, I think it, it's about time I tell you guys. Uh, um, you mind if we uh, have a little uh, talk outside of this meeting? Uh, right, not everyone hear this. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess I'll head out to Smithy and, uh, and then uh, Sato gathers you all around and he says, uh, Well, you see, um, Gundrum's not really my boss. That was more of an excuse that's, uh, uh, to get you guys to stop asking questions. What? Uh, I actually work for, um... What the fuck are they called again? That's an interesting organization name. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Um, I'm part of a, um, of a, a group called the Lord's Alliance, and uh, one of our members was sent here to uh, scout here recently. And uh, he, he hasn't reported, so uh, I was hoping the, the boss around here would have, uh, uh, would know his whereabouts at least. Unfortunately, you guys kind of dealt with him. It's not our fault he was, well, made of dust. And uh, my leads of where he is, he, he is, is gone. I, I don't suppose there was any extra prisoners there, was there? Actually... <clears throat> don't tell him. Hmm. No, I think they were all dead. Uh, Wait, are we not telling him about Drew? No, we already spoke with Drew with him. The yeah. Red Brand? No, no, the, no, the family we freed. Oh. Everyone knows that. Okay, alright. Uh, well, it's like, uh, no one knows where I'm. Uh, my elven friend is. And upon hearing elven, you remember that glass elf was an elf. Actually, no, Thug actually you do, because you know, they were uh, one no. person besides uh, Ready that actually saw glass elf before he was dust. Uh, yeah, but I'm not there. Oh! 
Never mind. None of you know that. <laughs> exactly. Oh wait, didn't you go to head back with the party? No, he's still at the woodwork house. Not in the okay. lump of wood yet. Alright, so yeah, so he's um, not currently here. Unfortunately, the uh, glass half's identity will never be known. Uh, anyways, um... Yeah. I kind of feel weird about giving you a sword now that I know that you're, um... Not exactly being truthful with us. Well, I can't be truthful with everyone. You don't know who to trust. That's fair, I understand that. Oh, the Lord's Alliance goal is to, well, bring civilization to towns like these. That's why uh, our agent was dispatched. And uh, for him not to get here, we thought something was going wrong. Uh, this is going horribly really wrong. Wait, who's putting the cards there? That was an accident, sorry. Anyway, so... Unfortunately, uh, no one here knows uh, where he is or what's happened to him, so... Um, sorry, I wanted to interrupt. Can I yeah, do an insight check? He's very, he's being truthful. Yeah, yes. Okay, alright. Uh, and yeah, um, I mean, I'm, uh, it seems Gundrum's at the center of this. I would love to go help him and everything, but with the house all my gear, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I'll just drag you down. And as you can see, my the, my gear is not exactly uh, cheap. Well, we've got two days to muck around until your armor is ready, um, and you do have your crossbow and a sword. Even though it may not be your preference, we still you can still join us. I am more than comfortable to have you on this party on this quest if. Everybody else is. <clears throat> uh, uh, look at feeling. What? Was that a? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know how to build up with you. <laughs> uh, that, well, I I feel like that sound I just made uh, examined uh, demonstrated how I was feeling, but um, I wasn't going to say anything. Yeah, just as simple yes on no, out of character. Because <laughs> I didn't hear it. <laughs> so, do you want to hear or not? You can say out of character. I just need to know if you want to hear or not. Begrudgingly. I'll say yes. Alright. Uh, is everybody happy with him being here? Yo. Yeah. Grammy nods. <laughs> Remy just yeah, walks into a wall twice. <laughs> you can see there's a bump growing in his head uh, now. Where all the walls here have been walking by. <laughs> it also looks like he's grew a little bit after uh, Thugash is stretching him. Uh, hey, hey, uh, yeah, um, the seal does happen to buy, uh, wait, but uh, yeah, he did wait for the island to be uh, made and such, so. <clears throat> you guys are just gonna hang around here, and actually, uh, after that, we'll just quickly go back to Thugash. So, as a, a stick on that. Yep. All right, so uh, Thugash, you, you ask around for the woodworker, and you eventually get pointed towards him. I uh, walk up and uh, knock on the host or something, whatever, whatever's around. Let my presence be known. When you Aww. open it, uh, the, 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 uh, you hear a woman's voice and you see uh, uh, the woman uh, that you guys saved. <laughs> this is a really small town. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> well, the woodworker was the husband, so... <laughs> okay. Um, I say... I say, um, sorry to bother you, man. I'm just, uh, looking for, um, some wood. <laughs> Could you give me some wood? 
Did you have some potatoes? <laughs> Can you polish my post? <laughs> oh my god. I'm after a nice big thick hunk. Would you <laughs> something I can really <laughs> nail? No, I asked her if she has if um if she's the woodworker. Turn around and go, is that code? <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, like, she doesn't start crying or anything whatsoever at the mention of this, yeah. I'm trying to be as polite as possible. Uh, this is a lot uh, out of character. You made a grown woman cry. You feel proud of yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to upset <laughs> you. I, I, I just need some wood. Um, you said you had some out the back? Okay, I just um, walk around the back and, and sort of peruse the shelves for the, the nicest piece of wood I can find. A smooth piece of wood? <laughs> <laughs> or do you like it rough? Um, <laughs> I'm a big do you like it like all knobby and gnarly with plenty oh, of uh, yeah. <laughs> plenty of warpage in it? Uh, if we can find a normal log, what do you want? <laughs> Is it ripped? <laughs> No. What what's the, the nicest piece of uh, wood I can see there? Uh, you're gonna be carving it, so they all look the same. Okay, well I um, grab a piece and um, stick it in my bag, and <laughs> I, on the way out, I uh, I say to her um, one last thing. Um, while while you were uh, in captivity there. Did you happen to hear any of the Daylers speaking? Uh, she went back inside and closed the door on the after uh, uh, you would have to go up and knock it again. Just let, she just let me run it through her, through her house? It's not in her, in her house, it's at the back of the house, so it's kind of went past. Oh, so she let me in the rear entrance? Yes. No. Right. no, no. Did she You're not really... inside the house whatsoever, you're on the outside of the house. Did so, she really uh, leave because he asked her for some wood. She reminded him of her, his husband. She's quite. Uh, uh, he was. Okay, well, I'll go back to the front, front door, door and I'll knock again. Oh. Alright, I'll go back to the front door and knock again. Uh, uh, gee, how can I help you this time? Uh, still wiping the tears away. Uh, I'm sorry to upset you. I'm just. Um, I just wanted to ask while you're in captivity. Do you happen to hear any of the, uh, any of the the jailers or, or your captives speaking? She starts speaking? crying again. I, I'm, and the and the only thing that they uh, did was just uh, make uh, fun of my uh, my kids and me uh, uh, being about to be sold off to slavery. If, if that's all, then uh, would you please leave? Oh, happy much? I walk away. <laughs> Saved your ass. You're touching a touchy subject and you're asking about it. Oh, I've walked away. I don't give a shit. It's like a shame on you. Uh, <laughs> left it there. <laughs> I so feel like that, feeling that uh, I had better I'm tact. Grabbing, I'm grabbing my wood. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it when they cry. No, I'm kidding. A rock oh, comes from the heavens. You don't know where from, but you get hit in the head and it'll be fun. It doesn't hurt you, but uh, you feel like someone just threw a rock at you. I'm turned back a little bit uh, away from, from her. Wow, nice to go. Keep walking. <laughs> I, uh, I, I wander back up to uh, the camp where everyone else is. Um, right, you start heading back, so what did you guys decide to do after uh, Silva um, told you uh, why he's here? Um, I suppose the town is putting a party on for us. And I wouldn't mind a night in a bed. Alright, so you guys headed to Stonehill Inn? Yep. I'd like well, to um, uh, ask someone if there is a, a herbalist in town. Yeah. See if there is actually one.
I'll come back to this later. Cause, yeah, uh, no worries. Yeah, cool. it like, uh, I'll, I'll take a while. Have I gotten back to the group? Is it, am, am I yeah, met you catch up halfway, but I'm yeah. heading to the same end, so you, got, you catch up with them. Uh, when I walk up, I say, uh, well, I didn't get anything except wood, because I have wood, and I was just wanting to know what, what, uh, what our plan is. Do we have any more information? Did you get anything out of the red brand? Unfortunately, no. You really didn't have a lot of information. Droop, however, had a little bit of information, and oh? I think we're going to follow up on that in a couple of days after we get some armor made for Sildar. Sildar's coming? Yeah. Why? Because it makes sense for him to come along and try and find the source of what's going on. Okay. There's so... also been some other interesting developments, and I fill him in on um, Silda's reveal. Um, so I, I turn to Silda and I say, uh, what, "You say you're after a, an Elvish companion. Who who is this?" Jason. Wait, uh, you actually go to detail uh, everything. Uh, that's it. Yes, I tell him everything. <coughs> well, it was part of the Lord's Alliance. And what is the Lord's Alliance? Uh, the Lord's Alliance is... Let me get my little page up in. Uh, the... Uh, the Lord's Alliance is uh, a group uh, that, <clears throat> that looks for the security of civilization. Okay, so let me get this straight. Uh, you're after one of your members who came to this town has gone missing. Uh, the only place where he could have gone missing is in the Transcendent Manor. We scoured that place. We saw no other half elves except for the guy we blew to smithereenies. Care to explain? No, I doubt it was him. Uh, he, he was a good man. He wouldn't, uh... You can't get to Twitter. And uh, I guess that's the end of that. You guys, uh, you start heading to the Stone Hill Inn. Wait, okay. I asked for an insight check to see if he's lying. Ah, roll it. And normal... He's as honest as the sun. So he's so the. As far so, as you can tell, he's not lying. Okay, and I specifically asked him if if the guy that we blew to smithereenies was his. I, I mean, like, there's that. no way for you to tell. For uh, for one, he, he it's not like he can confirm if it's the body or not. The body's dust. And he honestly doesn't believe that uh, it was his friend. He, but he, okay, so he, he thinks that he was good. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I turned to Silda and I asked him if he'd heard of... Silda wasn't there when we found the letter, right? Nope. Yeah, you want to show him the letter? Uh, yes. Uh, who kind of has the letter? Uh, I do. Okay, so you show him the letter. So we found this in the elvish man's room. I see. Yeah, definitely uh, some evidence uh, uh, leading back to this black spot. Spider fellow. Seems we really do need to find uh, uh, Gundrum. Any idea who he is? Unfortunately, no. This is obviously an alias. Uh, this, this speaks of dwarven maps. Uh, while you were with Gundrum, did you have any dwarven maps? Uh. 
You were with um, him in this letter's about you. Well, Gundrum, uh, 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 I don't think, actually, has Baltham told you about this? Mm, don't think so, actually. No, no, uh, so, yeah, you guys have been Baltham told us about something or other about, um, uh, Gundrum having a brother and... Yeah. A few other things. Yeah, he didn't tell you, so anyways, uh, uh, I don't believe it. I told you, uh, well, since you're trying to fight Gundrum, I, I don't see the harm in telling you. Uh, well, um, Gundrum, uh, well, he discovered, uh, the, the lost, uh, mine of Van Dalen. And, uh, let's see, he wouldn't know that, uh, what the hell that is. Sargash, no, Fila, no, Throwing Bear, definitely not. Uh, Alexia, give me a history check. Oh, I thought so. Is it local history, though? No. Okay. Ancient. Oh! Yes! Uh, okay, uh, looks like you uh, remember some of uh, the stories of Van Dalen. Ooh, nice! Um, I, I actually have heard about Van Dalen. <laughs> That's funny, because we're in Van Dalen. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the lost, the lost mines of Fandelen. Mines of Fandelen. That's just what I said. The lost mines of Fandelen. Um, I thought the name sounded familiar. <laughs> what do I know about it, Jason? As you. Who is this, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who is this, Jason? We don't take a name. I mean, Almighty God. One. Oh, that seems like uh, Alexia has found her religion, guys. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, dear. I should send you to church on Sunday with my parents. They'd be thrilled. You can tell them all about playing Dungeons and Dragons and they can get concerned <laughs> for your immortal soul. They want to save me. Yep. Oh, but they have the best intentions, don't you know? Mm, yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> uh, okay, so... Fuck. I'm trying to find this information. It's somewhere in this fucking, uh... Little fucking booklet I've got somewhere here. They're horribly organized. Yeah, I don't envy you. Yeah. I, I mean, I do find it, it's just, I keep forgetting where all this information is. <laughs> uh, ah. God damn it, it's meant to be in here! <laughs> I, I, I may just have to search at you uh, this later, <laughs> guys. So yeah, keep the uh, ball rolling. No worries. Okay. Well, um, I mean, I know something about it, but I'll just have to have a think before I can tell you guys, okay? Mm. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, we know that <clears throat> someone was trying to kill uh, Gundren, possibly because, you know, something about the Lost Mother of Fendalen, and um, that he... that there are maps that uh someone who was conferring with Lord Albrecht was looking for the spider guy. Um and Droop knows a like a rough direction to the Cragmore Castle. Yep. Yep. Is there anywhere that we can purchase a map from this town? I uh, I just found it. Uh and uh, you guys, no, there isn't. Um, you would have to probably go back to Neverwinter for that. Um, it's a small town and also has been pillaged for months. Yeah. Alright, so, um, all right, what you know about the town, they like, uh, well, suddenly comes back to you, Alexia. Oh, guys, I just remembered! Convenient. <laughs> um, for one, it's actually not good. The, um, it's good. the place is called Wave Echo Cave. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's still kind of the lost mine. Um, uh, about 500 years ago, an orc invasion that devastated a part of the north, uh, 
uh, centuries uh, since. Uh, countless uh, prospectors uh, and adventurers have uh, searched for the Lost Mine. Um, and uh, I can't read that part. Can't read that part. Fuck. I wanted to look for the freaking Fandel Unpacked. <laughs> Having a so much um, it, it, it's it's coming to me. It's just uh, it's at the tip of my tongue. Don't you hate it when that happens? Mm. We'll spit it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, um, uh, uh, wait, give me another moment. That's not what I was talking about. <laughs> I I Bargash's um rib wood. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <I'm up here. laughs> Have you started whittling that thing yet? Well, why are you all standing He's around and your butt? I, um, yeah, I've taken it out and I've got my wood carver's kit done and I'm just starting to rough, rough shape it. Whilst I'm having a think, I'm poking at Freddy's face and saying, it's funny how he does this, like, <laughs> just, it's weird. Is this normal? Anybody know? Can I do a history check? <laughs> it's somewhere in my notes, but I just can't find it. I've read this fucking countless times. Oh, if it's not um, if it's not pertinent to what we're doing right now, we can. Uh, if, oh, I can give you the quick rundown. Uh, so essentially, the, the, there used to be a very uh, um, uh, pack called the Fan Bound Pact, and it was very beneficial to the. Uh, uh, area because they were able to make magical items uh, using the forge there uh, but because of the orc invasion um, uh, the mine got besieged and uh, it didn't um, uh, count less um, what's it called? cave-ins called, uh, caused the way to Vandala to be lost uh, no um, the survivors uh, ended up getting away but no one's ever been able to come back I don't know if anyone if there was any flies. I shouldn't say that. Except except Gundrum found it. Yes, Gundrum has found rediscovered it. it. Yeah, and oh, okay. uh, essentially, uh, what they probably want is the location of it. The magical uh, forge that is inside. Yeah, yeah. Because they could probably make uh, countless magical items. Who knows what they could? Uh, someone would be able to make with such a powerful item in the arsenal. That is a concern. Okay, so our plan, if I'm get to understand this, is to wait for Sildar's uh, armor, um, and then we head off. Yeah. yeah. Does anyone else have anything else to do in this town? <laughs> well, I'm not really interested in a party. Party, party! Come uh, on, you can't accept a quest for anything less than five gold in a party. <laughs> Uh, with uh, that, you guys can start hearing some uh, music playing from the end. Okay. No, nope. and I, I head off up, up, up the road back towards the camp. <laughs> what? None of that. Okay, uh, Thargash uh, decides not to partake in the celebrations. I'm gonna. Uh, well, before I leave, I ask. Uh, uh, Phelan and uh, Throwing Bay, if they mind, if I uh, use their camp as well. Okay. Um, can you give Rennie to Throwing Bay? Because I feel like Rennie might... Maybe if I give him some alcohol, he'll wake up. Uh, I, I can roll for Rennie, so don't worry about it. So I'm just going to sit up in front like in front of the uh fire up there and just start whittling away at my little whittling away at my wood yeah you start whittling away ignoring the party and the uh, celebrations like uh, it's only an afternoon yet the party's already started uh, you can see that uh, they uh, kill the pig and um and uh starting to roast it sweet how big is the pig uh not that big but not that small it's a decent sized pig does it look like it would um, be able to feed everybody in the town? Um, majority of it, yeah. 
does but it look could like it be they'd throwing be... bear? <laughs> no, does it look like they'd be leftovers? Uh, with all the other food around, uh, definitely. I shake my head and say, wasteful. Uh, and I reckon it ignores you and just uh, goes back to party because they don't know what they're talking about. Yep. <laughs> are there any? Are there any kids like playing games or anything? Uh, not in the end. No, no, no like outside. outside. Yeah, yeah, there's probably some kids playing. I would have to go outside and look for them. I am outside. I haven't gone inside. Uh, yeah, um, you can find this. Here's some yeah. kids of, uh, playing some... What else? All the kids be <laughs> Is there ale? <laughs> ale. Yes, there is. I go and I grab a... a stein. Uh, it can be... It's, uh... It's not really coming out yet. Oh, ah, no! No, all my tabs, no! <laughs> Rip. Ah. I want my ale! Oh, one second, I need to reload it back in. <laughs> so my much only shit fear open. is that if feeling gets drunk, the town will see who she really is. So I have to be <laughs> careful. Oh yeah, but you have disadvantage on the... Uh, and uh, uh, I think. <laughs> yeah, for <that's> reasons. <laughs> Cause reasons. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, uh, you can, uh, there's some, um, drinks on the bench, uh, you can see the... Let me get his name out. Um, Toblin? Um... He's the innkeeper. Um, uh, he's not really um, putting too many uh, drinks yet at the moment. I still take one. Yeah, uh, you take one. Uh, um, you down uh, that one easily. It's not really a. Uh, I mean, it's your first drink, so uh, if you want to sip on it or something, yeah, you're fine. No, I chug it. Oh, you chug it. Uh... Me too. Seeing, seeing, um, what's her name? Uh, yeah, seeing Phelan chug her drink, I also chug mine. And stare her in the eye. Uh, okay. I um, am... If you guys are going to chug, give me cunt see if you guys can actually down this thing without you choking on it. I, uh, attempt to chug faster. Con saves, did you say? Yeah, give me con. Don't forget you've got exhaustion level, which disadvantage on ability checks. Uh, I know. Saves are different. Which one? Concept. Uh, so I feel like you uh, down that nice and easy. Faster than Alexia. <laughs> Definitely faster than Alexia. You vortexes I mean, it. Yeah, you had a, um, a head start, but I mean, even if you didn't have a head start, it's like a black hole opened up in your mouth. That thing just goes, uh, you down that uh, nice, uh, that puppy down uh, nice and fast. I grab a second. That's hot. You're not here, shut up. <laughs> Go back to Willy. Yeah, I grab a second. <laughs> uh, I yeah, grabbed a uh, second before her. And no, we, we said it. We yeah. actually said it at the same time. Yeah, I was just repeating uh, it. You were able to, uh, uh, Dan, uh, Alexia, but it was a bit difficult. Uh, so you both go for another one? Yeah, we're in competition at this point. Wait, um, can we please do another constitution save for the second dream? Yeah, you are this going is what to you're up to. The party uh, hasn't even started yet, and you guys are fucking uh, doing this shit. Give me another con uh, uh, save, Santa, because you, uh, you just chugged. Uh, Alright, so you're, you're coughing a little bit, feeling. I down that like a fucking pro. Yeah, but give I, me another con save to see if uh, the alcohol it hits you. Because you just down two ales uh, in a short period, so. Do I and need to do the chugging. same? Yes. You both need to give me two. Ooh. All right. So feeling, even though you checked on it a bit, they, uh, it seems like it saved you a bit. But Alexia, uh, you're getting a bit woozy uh, after uh, just drinking uh, uh, two uh, the, uh, that fast. I like make cut down a little bit. 
I make eye contact with Alexia and grab a third. Um, I'm a little bit woozy, but determined. I grab a third, staring villain back in the eye. So we're staring at each other <laughs> and we're chugging. Is this what's happening? Oh. Right, give me another coup or two cons, eh? It's, uh, it's getting pretty hard. I mean, you're, this is your third drink. This is really hard. Oh! <laughs> she struggled to drink it and then just vomits it straight back up. Yeah, no, that's, that's kind of exactly what happens. Uh, you, Accepting you're, you're my victory. Drink, you're drinking too much, uh, um, Alexia. You, you just can't handle this. And uh, uh, you want to give me an, uh, a detent? Okay. Yeah. How do I do this again? Um. Oh, Roll you one d ten. Yeah. Uh, make it a uh, forward slash. If you're tapping it in. Or use the dice roller. Yeah, the dice roller's on the top left. Oh. Uh, all right. So when you puke, it, it goes for like four feet. So you you make you made a. Quite a bit of a mess. Do I need to make a deck save to see if I move out of the way? Yeah, you guys are staring at each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you also have disadvantage. Right? <laughs> oh. Actually, you know what? You, you get hit by a little bit of it, so. Because <laughs> you, I... you guys were right in front of each other. So you kind of need a little bit more. So you, get, um, you don't get hit by the majority of it, lucky for you. I um I just say gross, shake it off, and accepting my victory, walk away. I go have a bath, and I tip. The, I say sorry to the innkeeper and tip him a gold coin and go have a bath. He's staring at the mess you made, and he's like, "Really? Why are we having a party we for these even people? We started the freaking a real party, and you're already freaking puking in my end. I gave you a gold coin. <laughs> Shut up. Bah. Not my bat! Not my not my mom! Bad in the fucking bar! Leave me alone! <laughs> so uh, he slaps his face and says he's the guy the same. So are there um any, <laughs> any yeah, yeah. kids I can play <laughs> with? <laughs> uh, as we go back to um Throwing back, it looks for some kids to um, have fun with. Um, oh, yeah. don't say it like that! It makes it so much more creepy. <laughs> All of a sudden, you guys see uh, uh, throwing back putting on some priest gowns. God no! You, what you do see, however, is him shrinking down to four feet tall. <laughs> Uh, I, no, I know you guys see this, uh, because yeah, they're, they're inside the end there. Um, Renny is, uh... Still walking in the wall. Yeah, he's, uh, he tends to do that. You guys know that, that that's a thing with him. People are starting to point, uh, uh, stare at him, um, uh, even worry about him a bit. because uh, they don't know that's his thing. Anyways, uh, we get back to, uh, Throwing Bear, you find some kids playing, uh, I can't think of any ga- uh, many freaking things kids can play. Hopscotch, no, jump tag. rope, tag. Okay, yeah. they're playing tag. I come in yeah. at four feet tall and, and say with a big grin on my face, Can I play too? Give me a d20. A d20. Drink going there? No. He's playing with the kids. Alcohol <laughs> would not be okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, let's see if the kid, kids. <laughs> oh. There we go. Ooh, uh. Actually, no, I'm pretty fine, yeah. Uh, what are you, mister? I'm a feeble. A, a thing, Bob? 
A fee bow. I live in the forest. <laughs> You're a thing, Bob. Yeah, it is a pretty funny name. You wanna play with us? Yeah, that'd be fun. Alright, start playing with the kids. Play what, totally kicking a rock around or something? I'm playing tag? Yes, you're playing tag. I ask, who's it? You are now! T and he tags and starts running off. I laugh and then uh, go to give chase. Roll an uh, athletics, see if I catch him. Uh, guess. <laughs> uh. Oh fuck, they noticed. <laughs> Like, so, some people notice that you're playing with the kids. Like, a lot of people notice uh, some of the parents, uh, they, they see this short little midget thing chasing their kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing and I do have a big grin on my face. Uh, see if they're worried or not. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, yeah, they're worried. <laughs> Uh, I just want to play with the children. <laughs> play with the children, said they said. It would be a good idea, they said. <laughs> Why do people have to get the wrong idea? I'm just trying to play tag with the children. <laughs> and unfortunately, the, 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 the D20 was their wisdom, and they were not very wise. <laughs> um, so yeah, they, they uh, notice that you're playing with uh, the kids, and they see this uh, small thing chasing him. It's like a small strange goblin. They scream. <laughs> I stop and look up and look and really they, wide. Uh, and they uh, say, "How get uh, run? There's a monster behind you." And uh, it's, 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 uh, it looks like this bit of a panic starting to ensue. <laughs> I revert back to my normal form and like look down, kind of a bit sheepish. And... Oh man! <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm no. sorry. Well, I was just trying to play a game. Oh, damn it! <laughs> uh, it looks like there's uh, some people are uh, getting a bit confused. I was hoping no one else were all well off. Alright, uh, give me a, a persuasion check. Well, persuasion? Advantage. Sorry? Persuasion give with? Disadvantage. Disadvantage. Nine! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. Um, can I just quickly interject? Okay. Um, sorry, what? I think um, I'm going to head off for the night. Um, oh, really? I'm, yeah, I'm just going to leave my. I guess I'm going to do anything else except sit there and, and do the yeah, wood. Okay. So, um, yeah, I've got some stuff to do around here. So, um, yeah, I'll leave you guys to it. All right. Uh, Alright, buddy. I'll talk to you later here, but, uh, but I, I guess so. um, I'll, I'll see you later. It's I think if you guys are just doing we'll like party. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. I was going to do something with Thargash later on, but we'll do it another time, it's no big deal. Yeah. Alright, so, uh, the. Uh, the. I want the parents to go, what are you chasing my son for? They were uh, playing tag, and I wanted to play tag with them. And I was. Uh, I, I fell on. Why would a fellow lot as you want to play tag kids? We trying to eat my son. No. I couldn't eat your son. Check. Uh, unfortunately, with this uh, match. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> oh no! Uh, how dare you go to eat my son? I don't can I monster. can I intervene seeing this? Um, and just step between the you, two of them. Uh, you're you're inside the tavern. Yeah, I'm yeah, outside playing. Not, uh, nearby. Okay. Weren't you here to save our town? No, you're actually here to say, eat our children, aren't you? Don't be silly. I I wouldn't eat children. It doesn't make any sense. Oh damn it. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. God. <laughs> Alright, so the, 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 um, 
people are starting to get mad about one, the, 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 the other. It's like, uh, it goes up to his dad. He's like, Daddy, he was actually just playing with us. He, he asked if we could play with us. He, he didn't mean any harm by it. <laughs> I'm just standing there, like, head down, looking sad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Unfortunately, he doesn't really uh, That's what he just told you, son. You shouldn't uh, trust strange uh, goblin-like creatures. I'm not a goblin. Oh, I don't believe you. You're uh, after my son. No. I, I just wanted to play tag. It looked uh, like fun. Uh, uh, give me another persuasion check. Or do you still have disadvantage even with, because of your... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. Oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna get lynched. You roll this badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you know, I feel you, you start here in the commotion. Uh, you, you do head over. Yes. <laughs> a bit of a crowd starting to form, but you can see um, uh, people start yell uh, yelling at their own bear. Sure. And yeah, uh, Dark um, has got his head down. Are they about to attack him or anything like that? Not yet. But it okay. looks like it's, it looks pretty bad. Uh, hang on a sec. Let me just check something. Uh. Um. Yeah, I just approach them, and I'm like, what seems to be the problem here? This thing was chasing my son! I was just what? trying to play tag. This harmless thing here. He wouldn't hurt a fly unless the fly hurt him first. Look how big he is! He can shapeshift and everything. Size isn't, in it, isn't an indicator. I only shifted and became smaller so that I would be less threatening. But you said you didn't want me doing playing with your your son, so I stopped. I, I became my normal size, so the game was over. I'm sorry. Can he roll persuasion again with my assistance so that it the um disadvantage is negated because he would have advantage with my assistance mm. yeah yeah no it is yeah just roll it normal uh geez, yeah you don't have a disadvantage we are both face trying to explain um this there you go so he wasn't trying to eat my son of course not that's beastly i never eat people He stares at you for a second. Yeah, it looks like his son is. Uh, was he really just playing tag with you? Yeah, Dad. Alright. If I see you um, uh, chasing after my kid like that again, then I'm watching you. Okay. I, I won't play tag. I put my hand on throwing Bear's arm and I'm just like, maybe don't play with the children. Would you like a drink? No. I walk back to the camp, sad. <laughs> like, head down, kind of like kicking the stones as I go along. Alright, well I'm going to have another drink. Is Sandy still playing? Sandy? Sandy! Uh, she didn't say she was going. No, that's why I'm like... I fell apart pretty quickly. 
Okay. Oh wait, she's typing in Discord. No, I can't hear. Why can't... Were you? Stop. Maybe your sound was coming through, um, Mark's. Uh, she's having oh, a I see. Break. But we just had a Siggy break. She's, <laughs> yeah, typing on her phone. Siggy butt brain. <clears throat> <laughs> Well, um, since she was off having a shower anyway, I'm going to have a drink on my own this time, I guess. <laughs> you gonna take Rennie and, like, force feed him a drink? Yep, sure. Totally. Yes, I'm doing that. Yeah, okay. You drag Rennie with you, and, uh, there's, uh, seemingly, uh, three of you left. <laughs> <laughs> this party is going horribly south, despite it being celebrations for you. Uh, it's so much like you guys should have, uh... Maybe start slow, then go uh, hard first. Oh no, I'm chugging. Oh, you're not, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, I don't chug very well. But you hold your liquor down. And how does Rennie go? <laughs> <laughs> you pinching his nose, jamming his mouth open, yes. and pouring it in. Yes. Or do you yes. ask the barkeep for a funnel? Uh, I don't think funnels were invented yet. <laughs> funnels were definitely invented. There's many an instance where a funnel would be useful. In, uh, I mean, for the, the, the long one, for people to try and just chug out things. So. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about, like, a regular funnel. Uh, just a pinch his uh, nose, tilt his head back, and tip it down his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if he chokes or not. Nope. Uh, <laughs> he opens his throat and swallows it. Uh, he, he, it's, it's kind of impressive when you see it, actually. It's like he, he defaults as an alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm going to feed us both another round then. I chug one myself and then pour another down his throat. Wait, de well, depending on how well I do before I am. Um... Oh, no. Not so yeah, well. You, you're, you're coughing up, um... But I can hold my liquor! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're able to keep it all down. I mean, you're drinking a lot at this point. You're feeling a little bit uh, bloated there. Uh, but you still force it down uh, ready to start, I'm guessing. <laughs> yep. Any, uh, hey, you get it down his throat nice and easy. Not as uh, fast as last time, but he's looking a little bit wobbly. <laughs> <Oops. laughs> <laughs> Alright, one more and then I hit the hay. <laughs> you either you ready first or you first? No me. Oh, oh boom! No! <laughs> oh, no! Uh, as you're drinking it, it literally goes everywhere. You don't even get it down of your mouth. <laughs> you're basically just pouring it across your face at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what happens. You start drinking it, just go, you cough, and then as you cough, it just uh, you lift it over your head, and it goes all over you. Just have yourself a nice nail shower. Congrats. All right. <laughs> I'm drinking Rennie's one and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> you, you, you drink Rennie's one? Yeah, instead of forcing it down its throat. Ooh. So I get it down, I just it doesn't don't handle stay it very down. well. Uh, as you get it down, uh, give me another constitution save. Because you've drunk so much at this point, it's like, uh, if you can't hold it down, let's see if you can keep it in your stomach at least. Which you apparently do. I'm just it's very barely. drunk. Just very drunk. Yeah, um, quite uh, easy. Randy looks uh, fine though. Uh, am I blindness. sober enough to go and have a bath and then go to bed? Uh, did you fail any other uh, liquor ones? No, it was no. just the drinking that I said failed. Alright, so you're, you're barely uh, uh, able to. Okay, well that's what I do. Do <laughs> you end up just falling asleep in the bath? <laughs> do I have to do another check to see if I do fall asleep in the bath? You know, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> what am I, a con check or? Uh, wisdom. <laughs> let's see how bad the alcohol is affecting your wisdom. Whoa! <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> You, you do it gracefully, you start spinning all the way off to your room, and, uh... Just leaving the pile of ale and ready behind. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
And yeah, you, you had a nice buzz, you spin back into your uh, um, pajamas or whatever you decide to wear. Or if you decide I'll to sleep rooty dooty, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm you, drunk. you had a nice um, alcohol and uh, you feel good and the bed's good as you pass out for the day. <laughs> You're probably gonna wake up for like late to the part of the subway branches. Pardon? <laughs> you, you, you've done this at like a freaking uh, 12 in the afternoon or like maybe at 1. Yeah, but I'm exhausted, okay? You guys are gonna a freaking long grass I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night. <sighs> As Rennie's left alone, uh, drink. <laughs> Walking into the wall. Uh, you know what? He's gonna throw his force one down. Right as well. Hey, you can get it. Uh, he, you know, he doesn't uh, chug it, but he just drinks it. He can hold his liquor. And I guess that's where we'll end it, and we'll see uh, what shenanigans uh, I come up with for next time. <laughs> so, while we're. Oh, you, you, you know what? Uh, actually, uh, you, you're all going to get a long rest. Yeah, I'm going to long rest, but I want to, yeah. um, I want to uh, try and make another mid sprig. Oh yeah. Um. Also, just for the sake of um, the. Pardon? Okay. I just wanted to. Maybe we should feel the Twitch streaming on, um, what Alexia is doing, just because she typed it in had. and they could. Yeah, oh, no, okay. I already had. It's okay. Okay. All right. Yep. You do your thing then. Alright. Um. Yes, hello? The DC is. Yeah, they're missing uh, everyone. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll plan something what happens during your long rest for next week. <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of this exhaustion check, okay? Probably shouldn't have drunk that much then. Um, do I do a concert is save to see if I wake up hangover? Uh, well, something's definitely going to happen tomorrow. Um, uh, not that or, um, next week, but uh, you'll find out what happens next time. Okay, I um I won't be able to do Wednesday, and Sandy probably won't be able to either, because we have a meeting, a virtual meeting for a conference we're volunteering at at the end of the month. <clears throat> so unless we want to organize another day maybe i don't know uh but uh, just unless doing a recap of session, but but yes. guys, um i'm just going to say good night and see you guys next week next wednesday yeah. night sandy night night uh, okay uh so yeah next uh week we're not doing it uh, we're just doing a brief recap so uh, not to worry about that. Okay. Uh, yeah. It's just, uh, I just wanted to get uh, to this part essentially, but this is actually kind of perfect uh, for what I was planning to do next session, so. Cool. Um, so next Friday, are we on like normal? Yep. Yep. Uh, I'm planning to do something a little special though. Yeah, okay. No worries. So, so look forward to that. Not a problem. All right. Well, yeah, I think that's where we'll cut it short for the night. And um, I hope to see you all next week. Yeah, I hope you guys uh, see you guys next week. Uh, hopefully Scott's here next time as well. Yeah, or at least yeah. gives us an uh, explanation. Like, uh, I mean, if, there, if, right? if he's dead, uh, I mean, that's totally understandable. Well, I don't know. <laughs> we, I think we may just have to get a cleric and, you know, speak with dead. <laughs> <laughs> work out what actually was going on. Yeah, a red may die of a bottle of poisoning. We'll, we'll see if he's here next week. It's yeah. All good. We weren't able to get a hold of him, were we? No, uh, we didn't give me a call back or text, so he hasn't hopped on Discord or anything, so yeah, I, I don't well, know what's going to happen to him. On um, Wednesday, he said that he fell asleep and then realized that um yeah well, that was quite some yeah. time ago so narcolepsy <laughs> his character's got it and so is he yep all right guys um 
yeah, hope to catch you all back up. next Friday, yeah. and um, hope you enjoyed what happened tonight. It, yeah. Uh, we wanted to try I and get this sorted. I don't want to see when was last time he messaged, because, oh god. <laughs> it was Wednesday. Um, we wanted to try he, and get this yeah, sorted he on woke Wednesday. Yeah, he apparently it woke up and was like, oh crap, so. did I miss recap? All good. Catch you guys later on. Oh yeah, we're no longer doing that. Uh,